Hi guys, welcome to another week of Whistle Stop Wednesday videos. We're here at the Oak Point Nuclear Facility again. Again, not much action happening here, but today's featured engine is the Lionel Empire State Express from the Century Club back in about 2001, uh, maybe 2000, I'm not sure. But you could see that this is a beautiful streamlined uh, engine right in here. It has the, uh, the skull and wheels on it. It has uh, incandescent bulb on the front of it. But it does have the um, beautiful, let me see if I can get in on that, logo on the front there with New York Central. And that's pretty darn cool right there. Uh, all kinds of neat, uh, uh, let me get up here and show you guys a little bit, but this is the streamlined look. It has pop-off valves, it has a, it has a good uh, puffer unit in here, uh, grab irons on the side there, uh, whistle, no whistle steam. This is the, uh, the uh, earlier version. It does have hatch that opens and closes, and two other ones on the sides here too okay it has fire glow on the inside a couple of guys in there uh, good uh, uh, real coal load on the back here this does this hatch in the back here does open up if I can get my fat fingers in there okay and ah, there we go we're getting there open right now and inside there is your control uh, knobs uh, for uh, programming and for the volume. Uh, nice looking thing. And what it has here, it's pulling the Empire State Express cars. These are the, uh, the ones that came with the set. And they are really cool. Uh, they're aluminum, they're extruded aluminum, which is a really good plus that I wish Lionel would bring back again, but uh, probably not. They would go with that cheap plastic that's uh, really crappy in my words there. But without any further ado, let's start this baby up. Great whistle on this thing. And as you can hear, it has legible uh, crew talk. Here is the whistle. That is awesome. There's the bell. Love that whistle. This is probably my favorite uh, whistle that's on a Hudson. And let's get it moving out. It does have, and you can see the work lights on it. There's the smoke unit in there. Like I said, it's a puffer, but it's pretty good. What a beautiful engine this is. And I'm just gonna stay right here and show you guys the cars too. Cars have peoples in them. Peoples are dining. People are driving, people are looking out the windows, and this is a beautiful set. And there's the drum head on the back. Again, this only has, whoo, look at all that smoke. This only has two revolutions per cycle, but it is a good engine. Good sounding, a little smoke coming out of it, really nice. 
All right, we'll back it up. It does have a backup light on it, but it's kind of like shrouded underneath there. If you could see it, there it is, right there. But yeah, look at that smoke unit. You know. For a puffer, that's pretty darn good. And there's that whistle again. Let's bring it out again. engine guys gonna back it up one last time love that whistle and yes I did contemplate getting the uh, legacy one but uh, uh, this is just too cool. And here's the shutdown. 5429, signing off. See you tomorrow. Out. And yes. You have to shut off the light then, too. I do have, where is it? There it is up there on the wall. That is the PT tender that goes with this set right in here. I don't usually run it that much, but... Uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the great spring weather. And I am too. I've been doing a lot of work outside, but uh, managed to come down here and do whistle stop. Okay, guys. Out.